Hi friends, my name is Lisette Ruiz and I am the owner of this channel, Learn with Lisette. Um, I post a lot of crafting tutorials and um, I kind of just like to share what I'm working on. So welcome if you are new. Um, today, I have kind of been sharing a little bit that I've been on a sublimation journey and I've opened up a Shopify store to sell um, these sublimation tumblers that I've been making in addition to selling them on uh, local craft shows and pop-up shops and things like that. And so in order to kind of put these products online and share on social media and have very consistent um, presence, I have, it, what you do is you kind of, um, you can see this is a mock-up. Uh, so you create a product image mock-up of what you're going to sell and that's how you can show it to people without having to actually make it so if you look on my Shopify site um, these are all images that I've purchased from Etsy and um, have created mock-ups to show people what they would look like so what I'm gonna show you today you know as I kind of like think about what kind of content do people want to see um, I am gonna show you on my computer how I do this from start to finish. Um, you can see they all look really nice and consistent. My logo is at the bottom of each one. They all have white backgrounds. And I love how nice and clean this looks. And so if you are um, planning to sell these online or create, you know, create some type of online store, um, I'm gonna show you how I like to do this. Now, these are not free um, softwares and resources. There are a few things that I do pay for that because I take this um, as a serious business, I do like to use software that you know I pay for. And so I am going to link and talk about everything that I use. I do not gatekeep, but they are not free. Um, I consider them an investment in my business. And usually with just selling one or two items a month, um, I can cover those expenses. They're really not too bad. So... I'm going to go ahead and start and show you from start to finish. So the first thing that I do or that I did was I went to Etsy and I found a really good Tumblr mock-up PSD. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, Photoshop is what uses PSD files and that is a layered file. So basically what's going to happen is someone else has already done the work of creating this file. And you can see they give you the dimensions, the resolution, and the different possibilities. Um, you can add your own background, and this is how it comes. It's an image with a transparent background. So I tried a bunch of these. This was my favorite. I'll link to it, of course, in the video. And so basically, what they do is they give you instructions on how to do it. You can always change your own background. I left mine white because I like the way white looks nice and clean, but you can always upload your own background. Um, and they, they kind of give you pretty straightforward instructions, but I'm also going to show you how I did it. So I'm going to act like I'm doing this for the first time. So we're going to download the file and download it here as well. And so then you're just going to unzip it. And it's going to open up for me. And so you see there, I've already unzipped it a couple times, Tumblr mockup.psd. That means that that's the layered file that Photoshop is going to be able to use. And I'm going to double click and open that up. And that's it. Photoshop gives me um, the options. This is what it looks like. So you see, this doesn't have my logo at the bottom. That's going to be the next step. So. These are the layers in green where you're going to put your Tumblr image. And at the bottom is where you would change your background if you wanted to do that. And you don't have to mess with anything else in this file. Um, again, this is my favorite Tumblr mock-up file. It's only $4. I would say if you, if you use Photoshop or you know how to use it or you want to learn based on following me step-by-step, step, um, definitely use this file because my husband is a digital uh, person and he says, you know, this one has the right curves and the shadow and it just, it looks really nice. Um, I really am super happy with it. So the next thing you're going to do is choose the image that you are going to put 
on this mock-up. So I've already downloaded a few. When you go to Etsy, um, they sell, if you haven't downloaded a mock-up already, I mean, um, a PNG Tumblr file, they sell them um, just as a square file because when you print it for sublimation, you just print it on eight and a half by 11 paper. So this is the mock-up that I'm going to create today. It's this really cute Valentine's gnome. Um, I've actually already created this one. So wait, maybe I can choose a different one that you guys can see. Okay, so let's do something different. Um, I'm going to do, let's do this Among Us. Um, so you can kind of see that's what this is going to look like. So the way you do this is you pull up the file that you're going to use. You're going to double click the first See, it says here, double click to edit the left tumbler. You're going to click in the box, in the smart object thumbnail, double click. Then you're going to drag over your PNG file. Now you see, obviously, that doesn't work. You need to resize this correctly. So you're going to hold Option and stretch it. Ooh okay then since this is the left one i'm going to drag it so that the corners of the image match up with the left edge so i'm just going to hit enter there then at the top you close it it's going to ask you to save it and you'll see it's going to pop right back over and there you go so then we're going to go down to the center one double click the thumbnail to edit the middle tumbler you're going to drag the same png over And then you're going to do the same thing. Hold Option, stretch it until it fills all of the transparent space. There we go. You're going to hit Enter on your computer. You're going to close that window that just came up. And you're going to click Save. So there's the middle part. Then you're going to double click the right Tumblr thumbnail. And you're gonna do the same thing. Drag the same PNG back over. The reason why you drag the same PNG is because you're showing kind of the front, middle, and back of the image. And you just hit enter again there. Nope, I think we could like stretch it just a hair more. There you go. And then we're gonna close that. We're gonna save. So there's all three on our white background. So then I'm going to save this as a copy because that's how you're gonna save it without changing any of the settings here. So I'm going to first select PNG because that's what I'm gonna now use in Canva to go ahead and add my logo. So I'm going to say, save it as Among Us. I'm going to move that to my desktop and PNG. So then I do save it as a large file size just because I like the highest resolution, but you can change it probably to small or medium. So that's it. It's saved on my desktop. So the next thing we're going to do is go over to Canva. Once Canva opens, I like my canvas size to be a square. Um, it makes it very easy to share to social media and you can just do create a design. You can even do Instagram post, and that will give you a nice high resolution picture. So the first thing we want to do is upload, go to upload media. We want to upload the file we just created and see it's right here on my desktop. Among Us PNG. I'm going to click that picture to kind of get it on my canvas. I'm going to stretch this all the way out so that it's nice and big and fills up most of the image. Okay. And then I have already uploaded my logos to Canva. I do use Canva Pro. Um, you could do this a different way if you wanted to, but this is how I like to do it. So down in logos, my logo is already there and I just go ahead and 
add it to the bottom of my picture. So this looks pretty good to me, but there is a little line there that you can probably see um, that is just the way the background is formed um, because they want it to look like it is sitting on something. So if you wanted to really, um, you know, make this match perfectly, you could do something like that um, by selecting the exact color. And so that is, you know, almost seamless. You really can't see any um, any difference there. And you won't be able to see it once you download it to add to your Shopify product website. And so basically you are just going to download from here. Um, you can make the size bigger if you'd like. You can click download. And it's going to tell you, you know, where do you want to download it to? I have a product photos folder that I like to save things to. And that is going to be there. So you'll see once we go back to product photos, it has saved it there for us. And so that's how I create these mock-ups. Um, I think they come out really cute. These are all things that I've made. And the most important thing about this is not just that they're cute, um, but that they're very consistent and your branding is consistent across the board. And I think they come out great. You can use this for social media. You can use it for your product pictures on your website. Um, and so I would love to hear your feedback if you thought this was helpful. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those as well. Um, just go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will leave a list of everything that I used to make this. So hope that helped and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.